Before we move to our, our next speaker, uh, what I'd love to do is, uh, uh, I've been talking with Richard here um, from Welltech, uh, and there's an initiative that's going on uh, in Wellington to start an ICT grad school. Um, so I'd be keen to invite Richard and just share with us over a couple of minutes what some, some of those ideas are and, and hear some of your plans for um, creating better uh, education platforms for people to learn uh, ICT in Wellington. Thanks, Yosef. Kia ora. Um, I just want to just actually take a step back first and acknowledge what we just heard with Anarchy and uh, with Joshua. Um, my personal experience, I was like Anarchy, I didn't do well at school. I was um, long-term unemployed, didn't, didn't engage with education anyway, so traditional education didn't work for me. And I'd just also um, like to acknowledge exactly what Joshua said, having a very strange life experience of engaging with education as an adult and now finding myself inside a tertiary education institute, um, Joshua's, I think, thoughtful critique is incredibly accurate. And um, that's part of the challenge that I'm embracing now, actually, and it's part of the challenge that this IC Greek, ICT grad school, as we're calling it at the moment, I think we can come up with a slightly more uh, enjoyable and creative name, uh, is actually about embracing that challenge. And, and the other point that I'd like to I guess link it back to is the concept of collaboration. And that, um, why should education be controlled by w either one organisation, and why should education be just purely academic and not more deep and more experiential? So the challenge that we're looking at with this ICT grad school, um, and it's fraught with difficulty at the start, I, I hope I don't sound too negative, but we've been asked by the government to, do, to address issues that have been talked about today regarding industry, uh, regarding industry needs and the quality of the students that are coming out of t traditional tertiary education. And uh, they're saying, be creative, be innovative, but we're going to fund it in a model that's not creative and not innovative. So, so do everything you can, but then we'll constrict it in incredibly. And so that is, the, I guess, the challenge, and I'd see it as a joyous challenge that we're actually facing. Um, Got to be positive. <laughs> so what we're trying to do, I guess, simplistically putting, is really looking at the how do we um, embrace industry collaboration, how do we actually take industry thoughts and feedback and develop that into curriculum in a really fast and responsive way so it doesn't actually sit inside the confines of a government constraints, which is long and slow term, very slow to move. And then how do we get people involved in experiential learning during their education? So part of the education is about the theory and the kind of the academic concepts behind it, the teaching how to, how to really engage in critical thought, but then how to go and work in, a, in an industry where you can actually be productive straight away. Or, or in a very early stage, and how can we develop those things? So, um, without getting into any more detail, we're at the um, hoop jumping stage with the government sector. Um, we're really, we've had great feedback from industry. Um, and the approach, and it's, I feel like I'm kind of fighting with inside my own organisation and with inside our partners, which is, so Wellington Institute of Technology, uh, Victoria University and Fidiraya Polytechnic, so three of the big providers in Wellington. So that's a nice step in collaboration first. But we are actually fighting with inside our own organisations of really challenging ourselves to do things differently. And the question that is being asked a lot of, of ourselves and from industry is be brave. Um, and we're really trying to embrace that. I, I think there's lots of opportunity. Um, I'd like to uh, encourage the collaboration between us and Inspiral and Dev Academy. I think what they do has actually really, you guys have made a step change in the way the industry and the sector looks at education and um, we think we've actually got a lot to learn from you guys, um, and we'd like to embrace the collaborative approach. This is an exciting new space in education. Um, this, the, uh, the space where industry and educators work together for the development of the good of the people that come out of it and the development of the good of the industry and the businesses that sit within it. I think that's it for me, thanks.